Today is June the 28th, 2017, and I have here to play with for just a little while one of these really big and actually quite nice um, car stereo high power amp where they call it a that, to me that implies a 2000 watt well they really don't even rate it at that but I think that's there to deceive and make people think they're getting 2000 watts uh, if you look up the specs on this thing NTX 3107 made by DHD I think they rated it 350 watts in two, two ohms, but I'm going to check it here and show you how it performed. It's really, it's really pretty amazing. Uh, I've got it hooked up right now to eight ohms. We're just going to do one channel at a time. One of the things we have to uh, watch is to make sure that we keep the uh, the voltage up to better than 12, 13.8, I guess is the ideal range. And right now it's doing 125 watts, and both channels do the same thing. Are used in, in uh, you know, making it complicated and, and jumping around between them. THD at this point is one and a half percent. But um, looking at it here, looking at the spectral display, you can see. Oh yeah, and, and I have my uh, polarizing filter on here. Let me turn this thing see if I can improve that just a little bit. Look there. You guys are you guys are good suggesting this. I hope you can see that much better. I think what's interesting is there's a lot of spurs in here. A lot of spurs right there on the fundamental. Now I don't know if that's an artifact of the uh, program or if we're actually seeing something significant. Um, let, me, let me rotate this thing a little bit more. There we go. See, I can shut it all the way off with this polarizing filter now. Okay. Uh, now if I turn it down if I turn down the gain just a little bit, just, just drop off the, if I turn it down just a slight amount, watch what happens. Boom, the, uh, it's at 118 watts. The THD drops down to that. And let's look at these spurs again. See, they go down. I'm gonna turn the power down a little bit more and suddenly, Wow, look at that. Look how clean that looks now. I'm thinking I may be capturing something here almost accidentally uh, uh, about the artifacts of a, of a transistor amp driven ever so slightly to the point of, you know, of overdriving it. And those things are as clean as a whistle. And the THD's down at 0.04% at 98 watts. They're about, okay. This is into eight ohms. Now, we got to be fair, we're going to also test it into 4 ohms. I'll do it into 4 ohms by, uh, see, I've got it hooked up right there. We're just going to do one channel at a time. Uh, I'll parallel these two guys. I'll have to stop and hook it up. And then after we test it into 4 ohms and get its power, we'll put it into 2 ohms and get its power. And then I want to put it into this little common, everyday, if you want to call it, uh, very humble little um, vacuum tube amp and see what the harmonic profile looks like there. This thing is really only good top notch to 10 watts, but we'll see. Okay, let's try it into four ohms and, and see what kind of power we get out of this uh, jewel right here. Okay, now we have the, this one channel. We're just, like I said, we're just gonna test one channel. Which one am I testing? The left channel into four ohms. And now suddenly we get uh, 188 watts. And it looks nice and clean. And there's its THD. 0.6%. If we turn it down just ever so slightly, the uh, again, see the THD drops to just basically nothing at 179 watts. And we see again very, very clean spikes there. They're surging here once in a while. I don't know what's causing that. Let's see. Oh, our, our power supply. Yes, I need to run this up. I need to turn that up a notch. There we go. Keep that up around 13 or so volts. There we go. Very clean. Maybe clean to the point that we don't even like it. I don't know. Let's see if we get more power now. We probably we might. Let's just watch here for clipping. Well, right there, it's starting to clip. Right there below clipping. 220 watts. At 0.05% now that we run our voltage back up a little bit. 
point oh five percent at 220 watts average power that's pretty powerful and again well see we're getting close we're getting closer to maximum power we see all these spurs in there again we're gonna we're gonna examine that on the uh, tube amp here in a minute okay now let's go to let's go to two ohms and see if it will indeed do the 350 watts say say it will it might I haven't checked this yet okay now we've got two ohms across it I've had to uh, disconnect these that go up to the two big resistors and I use this two ohm resistor it's already hot I've been I just played with it just for a second uh, this resistor I know it's wire wound but the inductance is down at um, only eight micro henry's if you can read that not all the glare always glare anyway so the, we have no reactance issues in it uh, let me get the thermometer we'll measure the temperature of it yeah it puts out a lot of power see the uh, well I would have to have a dead battery wouldn't I okay forget that let's uh, run its power up I am remembering to uh, change this over see to Oh, damn. Two ohms. And then you set it. And then we go to, um, it's on DC, so we got to go to AC power. Okay. Sorry. I just want to show you that I am remembering to change this uh, resistance to four ohms and two ohms. And I'll do the testing. Now we'll start running it up. Uh, until we see some some clipping here there we do there we see some clipping right there 282 watts let's see if we can raise this no I can't raise that any higher it's drawing so much current I can't raise it higher than 12 volts without putting a big variac on it I don't think that's necessary it might actually do at 350 watts if we had the voltage up to like 13.8, uh, but it's doing 281 uh, average watts at uh, 12 volts input with a THD of 0.6. And let's see what this looks like. We haven't overloaded it. No? Well, look at there. Look at all those spurs. I, I just find that really interesting. A lot of them right there. Something just snapped. What went bang? Something shut off. Looks like I tripped the breaker. I guess I blew the fuse down here or something. Our voltage is dropping. Okay, well, let's uh, let's uh, uh, tend to that. Okay, we're back on the air. No big deal. But I guess I was drawing an awful lot of current there. This, uh, this power supply right here, it just tripped the breaker in the back. So I just had to reset it. Fortunately, no harm done. Put a new battery in here. See, it heated the resistor up to uh, 100 and get the glare off of it. Well, that's not working, is it? Well, I, I don't have two hands to turn that thing with. 100 and something degrees, anyway. This thing got pretty warm too. My uh, my filter here is, uh, is sabotaging me now. This uh, polarizing filter just doesn't want to just doesn't want to work worth a hoot. Looking at that little thing, does it? And I, I only got two hands here, so I can't turn them both. Anyway, I've got it now driving this little 6B4 amp at about 8 watts into 8 ohms and my theory was completely shot I gotta look at the spurs on that guy wow holy moly maybe we like that I've said before that maybe we like the artifacts of a vacuum tube amplifier I thought it was going to be cleaner. I mean, obviously they're a lot higher here in, in amplitude, this harmonic profile. 
The distortion is uh, 1%. Let's see if we run it down to, to a good bit below. Yeah, only 0.2%. Okay, that's at 5 watts. It, it's, a, it's a very uh, humble little amp. But wow, we still got a lot of spurs around that fundamental, don't we? Hmm. Yeah, not what I thought. It's actually the opposite of what I thought, but that's okay too. Let's want to do measurements. By the time I think I understand something, it can turn out just to be the opposite. Well, anyway, that's what it is. These things are pretty powerful. I couldn't actually test this thing uh, at 13.8 volts input to it, but I think it actually might do 350 watts. Uh, if you do average power of 350 watts, its peak power is mathematically exactly twice that because we know that the peak voltage would be 1.414 times the RMS voltage. And then if you square that, E square over R, you'll get exactly twice. So if it'll do 350 average watts, it'll do 700 peak watts per channel as long as you've got... Uh, wire is big enough and I don't think these are these are not warm because they didn't run it a long time they're a little bit warmer up here but then so is the whole unit um, I guess the thing would actually do like 1400 watts peak for two channels I'm not trying to sell this thing it's just had an opportunity to test it and uh, want to see what it really do it's pretty, it's, it's pretty powerful there you go Thanks for watching. Be safe.